let's go to Colossians chapter 3 verse 25 but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done and there is no respect of persons so what is what does this mean here if you do wrong basically i guess if you do wrong, there is a punishment. Okay. I think some people may correlate, connect, sin as being fun. Like, in a sense, they may believe if you aren't sinning, you are not having fun. Okay. What if you had a list of all the sins you enjoy or don't want to put away? Let's say to the right of each sin, if you knew it, list the punishments or punishment of each sin. What if you had an outline like that? Would you still believe sinning is fun? Would you believe that it is beneficial to you? Yes, I know some people will sin but don't want to sin. If you are in that category, I am not really speaking to you in this sense. But this message is pretty much for people who may love or enjoy a sinful lifestyle. Look now, how is it beneficial for you to do wrong? Like, you may see the good side, which there is no good side to sin, but you may see the attractive side, I guess, to sin, but are you also including the punishment? Are you? If I know... I think some people too, I think some people may believe when bad things happen to you, it is a coincidence. How is that? I think everything that happens on this earth happens for a reason. If constant bad things are happening to you, I think you need to examine your life. Right? Am I sinning? If not so much, or if not, am I being tested? Like, what is God trying to reveal to me by these bad things happening to me? Like, what is going on? Back in my past, I used to do so much wrong. Like, so much wrong. And so many more, I think, bad things would happen to me. And for a time, I guess, I think I would be confused about it. I used to be extremely rude, be a huge liar, and probably so many other things, but yet I believe I was confused of why bad things was happening to me. I knew 
what was right. Maybe not everything, but I knew in a general sense, I guess, what I was doing was wrong. But I enjoyed sin. I enjoyed doing wrong. Yes, bad things may still happen to me. But I believe it is not the same way as it was in the past. Sinning is not beneficial. Sinning is not really fun if you factor in the punishment. Okay. What if you saw something in a store and let's say it is something you like and it is seemingly on sale. Let's say $20 below the average price. Okay. Would you buy it if you knew four months later you would have to pay $50 more for that item? So on the shelf, it looks like it is $20 cheaper. But after three months or so, you will have to send and pay more, $50 more. Would you get it? Like, I hope this makes sense. From the surface, I guess, sin may be, may look like it is attractive, may look beneficial, may look like something you really want. But if you dig deeper, and if you read the Bible as well, you will see sin is something that is harmful to you. Look now, I think some people believe Jesus Christ is some type of tyrant, some type of mean God, like as if he is some type of uh, rude, evil dictator. Look now. If you were my child and I saw you going close to a cliff and going to fall off, how would I be a dictator by telling you stay away from that cliff? Actually, come by me right now. Do this, do that. How am I a dictator if I am trying to save your life? Man, please listen. Isn't God trying to get you to avoid danger? Isn't God trying to save you? You believe you should go your own way? Even if it destroys you, you believe yourself to be so smart, so wise to where you don't need God. But ultimately, aren't you destroying yourself, man? Please listen. I think it is time for us to grow up, right? Enough with the immaturity, enough with this rebelling, with this don't tell me what to do stuff. Enough with that, man. Let me stop here. God bless you.